Isaiah 32, verse 7, the instruments also of the churl are evil. He devised wicked devices to destroy the poor with lying words, even when the needy speaketh right. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. Barak, thy how, Barak, thy how, Shah. Barak, thy how, Barak, thy how, Shah. Call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah. I'd like to give a shout out and a mighty salute to the brothers across the four corners of the planet trying to preach this true gospel and wake up the elect so we can be sealed and get up out of here which I think that's about to happen alright I, I really think that we we, is, we ain't got that much time left alright so yeah let's go and get into it fears over domino effect call lawyer how about shimmy I wish out for that Energy supply collapses, gas shippers, CNG stops deliveries. More retail energy supplies are thought to be at risk. All right, we're gonna go and listen to this guy now. If it mess up, I'm just gonna stop it. But you need to hear this. You know, I know this is going on in the UK right now. You know, but um, it's, it's having an effect over here. They say factories could shut down from gas shortages. This week's he's industry chief. All right. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting ready to get crazy out here. It says it's going to load an ad first. I'm going to pause it and Austin, come back to it. We're everything. We are vulnerable as a nation. We don't have stor enough storage of gas, and therefore if you had a real sharp winter, very cold temperatures, we could run out. Yeah, in which case then, uh, you know, what you would do is you'd shut down industry. Which would be a catastrophe. Economically, I mean, you know, we're in a bad place as it is, as COVID, so you don't really need to be shutting industry down. And that's not that's not great for British industry if we, we're telling all our customers we can't supply them. Like you said, they suspect in a severe winter over in the UK. All right, so yeah, let's go and read it. Fears are growing that a domino effect could result in more energy supplies going out of business after a key gas wholesaler exited the market. Pressure continued to mount on government ministers to take action on Thursday to resolve the gas price crisis after three more energy supplies went bust. Three more! Gas shipper CNG, which supplies gas to 18 utility companies. I didn't say 18 gas stations. They supply gas to 18 whole companies out here. All right? 18 whole companies um, are in trouble now. Also said it would stop deliveries, prompting fears of further waves of collapse. Oh, but it gets better. Call oh, yeah, the founder of green energy firm, uh, uh, Exotricity, said CNG's exit could cause wild, wider problems. <clears throat> Dale Vince tweeted, and one gas shipper that provides wholesale gas to 18 utility companies, forgive me, <clears throat> Sorry about that. About to exit that could cause a domino effect. CNG told companies it, it supplies they would need to buy gas from elsewhere. That is likely to mean a sharp rise in costs for retail supplies and hundreds of small businesses. You yeah, see, the, like I said, the most high is strategically breaking everything down. He's he, he he's breaking stuff down like I don't know if you've seen where a packer. Like army ants, when they when they when they break down like a bug or something like that, they take it apart piece by piece, and they carry it off on their back like moving furniture out. Yeah, the warning came as energy regulator Ogden sought a new supply for more than a quarter of a million customers of Pura Planet, Colorado Energy, and Delhi Gas, which all ceased trading this week. They not even trading no more. See, we get going. We get ready going to a crisis this winter. You know, around two million customers have now been put into Ofkin supplier of last resort process. So you can be put on a list where you like the last resort to get some gas, and that's crazy as hell. The regulator stressed that customers' energy supplies would be uninterrupted and credit balances transferred to a new supplier. They telling you that now, but trust me, this this is gonna have an effect. All right, 
Now, remember that they said that Pearl Planet, which was backed by oil giant BP, criticized the government and Ofkin for expecting it to sell energy at a price much less than it currently costs to buy. The energy price cap, price cap, which set a maximum amount suppliers can charge on their standard tariffs, rose 12% in October, but wholesale gas prices are up several times that amount. So wait a minute. If you're a business, you lock in your rate as a customer, but the people pumping it out of the ground, price went up several times. You see? And that's how CNG collapsed because they they actually go get it out of the ground. And remember, they don't have enough uh, blue-collar workers for them to actually get it out the ground like that. Because I don't know if you know, they've been shutting down um, these natural gas and oil field um, platforms too because they don't have enough workers. You know, and those are high paying jobs. I know down in Texas, the oil field starting pay with just, a, you don't even need a high school diploma. You can make $150,000 your first year. And if you want to go to school with them, you, you can make two three dollars $300,000 a year. I, I know I used to live in Texas. This is unsustainable. And therefore, sadly, we have had to make the difficult decision to cease trading. So if they're not even trading, they don't even have, have access to capital. You know, because when you trade, you get a lot of um, capital based on um, trading on the stock market. All right. The company said it was hedged against energy price rises until spring, but it faced large potential losses, you see, which prompted BP to withdraw funding. See that? Can't get no funding now. All right. And, and energy is capital intensive. You need a lot of capital to get these uh, energy supplies moving there was no sign on thursday that pressure on supplies will ease soon as wholesale gas prices began rising again after falling back from record highs earlier this month the latest supplier failures come as sir jim ratcliffe boss of chemical giants Enios warned that high energy prices will continue throughout the winter and could cause industry to begin shutting down. I don't know if you guys know a lot of these chemicals, they use oil to make plastic, you know, and certain chemicals. So that's why you have your plastic shortages. You know, you use a little bit of plastic and making the roads too. Okay. So, um, a which means if they don't have no, no plastic to make roads, your tax is going to go up. They ain't going to have no choice but to raise taxes. See, this place is in the same the same position as Rome. You know, where they just keep raising taxes and then everybody break out and uh, fight. You know, they, they, they Jake's revolted against them during, um, I believe, the uh, siege in 70 AD. You know, but this time it's going to be the entire planet revolting against these people. The most they're gonna do the will of the most high, all right. Now, remember, this is this is going on in the UK allegedly. But remember, glad uh, forgive me, gas and propane and compressed natural gas that's all pretty much um global, and you're seeing they having the problems globally, okay. And we get ready going to winter now. Peep this. Remember how they, they only said this was going on in the UK? No, this is having an effect global, globally. Now, check this out. This way it's get better. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Whoa. Now, check this out. Pain at the pump. California gas prices are sky high with one town charging almost $8 a gallon. Nobody gets better. All right. It's not your imagination. <clears throat> and I did a report um, last month. One of these gas stations, they was uh, already charging over $7. Now, it is $8, but it get better. It's not your imagination. California, like the rest of the nation, is paying more at the pump. Prices are so high and consumers are so perplexed. There it is. People being perplexed, you know. That a Google search of why our gas prices going up has spiked this month. 
Likewise, people are pleading when our gas price is going down. They're not coming back down, which has also been trending on Google. The average price for a gallon of gas, the regular unleaded gasoline is $4.54 in California, which is about $1.16 higher than the national average, according to data from the AAA. But here it is. Check this out. But one bold station along the Big Sur Coast was charging $7.59 a gallon for regular unleaded this week and $8.50 for premium. See? This place is through. $8.50. The quarter by the Sea Mini Mart situated along a remote stretch of Highway 1 in Monterey County want next gas 40 miles north, 12 miles south. Now here's the problem. This is getting ready to happen all across the planet because everything is shutting down. So you're going to have fewer gas stations open. And they're going to be paying more. So, hey, no wet wherever you at, hey, your price may may possibly double as far as gas prices. I know my um, my natural gas price didn't double for where I live at. And I uh I told the Jake last uh two weeks ago, luckily I locked in the price. It was 50% higher, but it done went up 200% already where I live at. So, yeah. And now, here's the part that I really want you to see. News meteorologist and climate specialist Jeff Berardelli tracking the severe weather. Jeff? Good evening, Jamie. Good evening, everybody. We call this weather whiplash to go from the worst drought in modern history and in the snap of a finger to a record-breaking storm system along the West Coast. To give you an idea of how wicked this jet stream is, over the open ocean, we have 30 to 50 foot waves. That means very rough surf expected along the West Coast. Now, it's all due to a fire hose of tropical moisture, concentrated band of tropical moisture that'll be shooting its way, slingshotting its way into the central coast of California. The storm to the north of it will be the equivalent of a Cat 3 hurricane. That means gusts along the coast up to 80 miles an hour. And that band of heavy tropical moisture moving down the coast as we head through tonight and during the day tomorrow as well. So here's a look at your hour by hour forecast. Look at how intense this rain is. We do expect to see flash flooding and debris flows. In fact, it's looking like it's going to be a very dangerous situation for the next 24 to 48 hours. Maybe an inch of rain in Southern California, but in Central California, four to eight inches of rain, plus some places maybe a foot and three to five feet of snow in the mountains. This weather whiplash becoming more common because of climate change. Jamie? We haven't seen this kind of moisture in a long time. Jeff Baradelli, thank you. It's Luke 21, verse 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth. The stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. See, the most high perplexing these people. Get ready to slam a, a whole hurricane flooding and snow right into the West Coast after a record drought in 100 years. Call her lawyer, how about she me out with All right. So like I said, if you can't see the most high out here putting the mighty work, <clears throat> he might have you blinded, you know. So, yeah, I just wanted to get that out to the family. The most high not only is gas pops, he's already $8.59 with all this going on and a worker shortage. Hey, come wintertime, they might have $10 gas over there, you know. So, yeah, the most high he's starting to put foot in the ass. Hey. Stay prayed up, because it ain't it, it ain't going back. It's a great big bumpy ride. So, yeah, I just want to get this out to the family. Hopefully, you're satisfied as I was, and on to the next one. Shalom.